Hi guys, it's the Viking Biker here. New one today. Um, I've got my brand new helmet. It is a Scorpion 1400 Carbon. Um, as you can see, it's quite nice. Um, but it doesn't have my motor vlog set up on it. So um, I've had a bit of an issue really looking at this because I can't fit uh, my GoPro the same way that it was originally fitted because of this mouthpiece here it curves down and outwards um, so a standard mount won't fit so I'm going to just show you how I am going to fit this one and then I'm going to show you my process um, so basically I've mocked up this um, as you can see it is um, a curved GoPro mount with a small curved piece on it and then I've put um, one extension and a 90 degree connector on it. Um, now all of these have been fitted with the M520 uh, screws just to streamline it, try and hide it a little bit. Um, I think quite a few others have done that, so Blockhead, um, John Maxwell, uh, Motor Nude Driver. Um, so I'm just gonna sort of go along with that. Um, my plan is, if you can see, to try and fit it just here. Um, put my hands in the way. But basically, I'm going to try and fit it right on the cheek piece just here so that the camera is directly in the center and good out. So when I tilt my head like that, it's going to be straight. So hopefully that will work. Um, I'll give you some close-up shots of this camera rig itself. Um, and then I will fit it to the camera, um, we'll fit it to the helmet, and then I will do uh, a couple of close ups of it, and then I will fit the microphone. Um, at the moment, I'm using a GoPro Hero 4 Black. I'd like to upgrade to the 5 um, or the 6, but at the moment, I'm not massively keen on the fact that you have to have a microphone adapter because I'd have to fit it along this side here, um, and really, it just it ruins the aesthetics of the helmet. Uh, it's cumbersome, it's something else to sort of come loose and fall off. So I probably will end up doing it just because uh, I'm a sucker for new technology. But at the moment um, I'm just going to stick with the Hero 4 because I can do quite a nice little streamlined um, installation. So stay tuned and I will see you back shortly. So this is the connection and this is how I've done it. So basically you've got the GoPro base mount. Um, as you can see, it's got the curved um, 3M tape on it, to try and get it to fit around the curve of the helmet. Attached to that, I've got this small curved piece and then one connector, just to lengthen it a little bit because it wasn't quite in the center of my helmet. A 90 degree connector with a thumb screw. Um, I've left that on just so I can easily remove the camera. And then that is attached to the GoPro Hero 4 black which is also got uh, a black skeleton case on it's got a dead bug on it <laughs> um, and the plan is to try and fit this so that it's just about here and then it will be sort of right in the center of the helmet um, so I'm gonna stick that on now and I will show you back shortly <laughs> But here you go, it's basically it. Got this nice uh, curved arm, got the camera mount to it, everything tight, everything's been sort of fitted on properly. There you go, level. Okay, so the next thing would be the microphone. So with mine, I am using this little adapter. Um, it's basically a USB mini or USB C, I think it is, to a 3.5 jack. Um, got that off of Amazon. I'll include the link to that in the description. Um, basically, it plugs in to the top piece, like so. Just try it around. Now, what I might do is um, stick it. I normally stick it to the bottom of the case um, so that it's tucked out of the way. Um, I suppose you could actually probably cable tie it to the arm, perhaps. Um, I'm gonna have a mess around with this just to see which way works best because I like it to be quite a clean install. Um, so I think it's probably gonna be mounted behind the camera like that. So you can just about see it, but it's sort of out of the way. And then the camera that I'm using, or the microphone that I'm gonna be using is the Sony 
ECMS3, uh, which is quite a well-known um, microphone for motor vlogging. And I've also fitted a dead cat to it already. So what I'll do is I'll tuck that up inside um, one of the cheek pieces, and then I'll trail this little 3.5 jack out, and that'll connect into the back of that adapter. So I'm just gonna fit that now, and I'll show you it shortly. So here it is, all finished. You've got the GoPro mount on a curved rig, and then as you can see, we've got the um, GoPro mount, and then it's into a curved arm with one extension and a 90 degree with the camera mounted on it. My microphone cable is coming off and just tucking underneath, and then if you can see, just lift up this visor. As you can see, the dead cat is just there. So, there we go, that's the completed article.